Here's some of the tools used in this video to install our mirror. Drill, screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench, two zip ties, Sharpie. I swapped these four tiny screws for some bigger pan head screws. You might not need to do this. One eighth inch drill bit and a Phillips head drill bit. I start off by organizing the parts included in the box. Then I slide the mirror together and secure them in the back using two Phillips head screws. The left side of the mirror gets assembled with the longest carriage bolts in the hardware with this flat oval piece and this tightening knob. The right side only uses an oval piece and is fastened with a tightening knob. Hey, this is Paul from Streetwise Carts and before I let you know that this video is part of our free street legalization mini course available at streetwisecarts.com. Signing up for this course also gives you our downloadable parts buying worksheet. This free mini course is the installation portion of our full street legalization course that goes over all the state paperwork and compliance issues that you need to be aware of when converting your golf cart to a street legal LSV. You can find a link to the free mini course along with a 10% off coupon for a full street legalization course right down below this video. All right, let's jump back in. Now I'm holding up the mirror and making adjustments to the oval pieces to prepare for mounting. In order to do this by myself, I'm going to zip tie each end up. Now I'm going to mark the holes which will go into the mounting hardware. I go ahead and drill these holes out with a 7 64th inch drill bit, which honestly is just a guess because I can't find any installation instructions for this model. I get frustrated and basically keep drilling bigger holes until I go too big and I have to just install some larger screws, which is fine. I repeat this process on the passenger side, but starting with the larger hole. Now I can tighten the mounting hardware and start to make my final adjustments. 